gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, it is time for the main event. Tonight will be a matchup between two DIY needle wheel impellers to find out who will be crowned the champion. In this corner here wearing fluorescent orange and clear acrylic, the single layer needle wheel impeller. And in this corner, wearing traditional fluorescent orange, fluorescent green, and clear acrylic, the double layer needle wheel impeller. Let's get ready to go. Welcome to Alex G's Aquarium, everybody. Today is the showdown day. It's time to find out who's gonna be the winner between these two needle wheel impellers. I made these two different types of needle wheel impellers a few months ago. I put them through tests. There's been one of each of them on the DIY protein skimmer for the 1600 gallon system. But I never got the chance to put them head to head to find out if one is better than the other. Let's do some real testing with these needle wheels and find out who is the winner. It's time for the main event. Round one. On the right side is the single layer needle wheel impeller. On the left side is the double layer needle wheel impeller. Round one, low speed test. Round two, low speed test. Round three, full pump speed test. Slight problem. We have got water out of the tank. We need to resolve that issue. Round three, full pump speed test. Alright, both pumps are at high speed. We will try this again. Let's go to our next round. Same test. I'll tell you the action is fierce in this fifth round. The 
final round here, we will reposition these pumps slightly. Next test. Now let's fire one pump and see how it looks. Double layer needle wheel by itself. Single layer needle wheel by itself. In this next round of testing, we will put up two DIY Venturis up against one another. One using a half inch draw, the other using a one inch draw. Two different designs, let's see which one pulls more. Both appear to be using about the same amount of air. I don't have a silencer on the half inch, so it is louder. Let's try this as a low speed test. On low, this definitely has a little bit different characteristic. Both pumps have been switched over to high.
there you have it. We did some testing between the two DIY needle wheel impellers, and I gotta say, they are really neck and neck as far as which one is better. And to be honest, I don't know if I could even really tell. There is one thing though I think I can say. That is, the double layer needle wheel impeller is able to put out a little bit more in the way of water flow. And it seems to start a little bit quicker, probably because of the suction it creates through this double layer. Notice when the pumps would start up, you would see that this pump would generally, for the most part, start to blow bubbles a little bit quicker than the other. While the single layer needle wheel didn't seem to start up as quick, it didn't seem to throw the bubbles quite the distance that was being thrown by this one. It seems that there was just more water pressure getting pushed out here. Now as far as the size of the bubbles, it is really close. As a matter of fact, I can't even really tell. Even with using two different styles of Venturi, I thought that both of these needle wheels performed excellent. And together, these needle wheels have been doing an excellent job of keeping the protein skimmer running and generating skimming. I hope now that everyone gets a little bit better idea how these needle wheels work and what kind of performance you can expect out of either one of them if you decide to build them. I think they're both good options, and if you're looking to do something that's a little bit simpler, this needle wheel with a single layer is definitely the way to go. The double layer, while it does produce a little bit more water force in it, I'm not really sure if all the extra effort it takes to build this one is really worth it. As far as durability goes, I think in the long term there'll be more strength in the double layer needle wheel because it has two layers that it's glued from with acrylic glue making the shape on this one a lot more sturdy because you have needles protruding through both sides and glued as a sandwich. Whereas with the single layer, these individual needles, while they are strong at being an eighth of an inch acrylic, they still have a little bit more flex in them and might have a bigger tendency to break over time. I'll definitely do more videos on the DIY needle wheel impellers as I keep them more long term. I did make extras just in case I do have a failure. And I want to really make it clear, when I built these impellers, I really did think there might be a huge difference between them and performance. But after putting them in a head-to-head -head test in that 40 breeder tank, I gotta say, it's such a close comparison, I just think they're all good. I think it really kind of comes into question of, when you see different styles of needle wheel impellers out there, is it something that is trying to be sold because it really can make more bubbles? Or is it just a new design that's doing the same thing that any other needle wheel does? I would say it's a good thing to do more head-to-head -head testing. That's all I want to cover with the DIY needle wheels today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead, give me that thumbs up. Let me know that you like the content. If you didn't like it, that's okay too. Go ahead and leave a dislike. And I really want to know from everybody if you liked the intro I did today, if you thought they were kind of funny or corny or whatever, that's fine. I I've done a couple of them in the past videos and I wanted to kind of resurrect it a little bit for this because I've just had it in my head forever to do this kind of intro for this particular video. So let me know if you like it in the comments and maybe I'll do one here and there. If you got comments or questions on DIY needle wheels, please go ahead and leave them down below. I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. I also want to just say thank you to all of my subscribers. I am over 900 subscribers now and I cannot thank you enough for your viewership and it really has been nice to engage with the community on a weekly basis and I'm going to continue to put out content every week on the 1600 gallon system and everything there is going on around it. If you want to see more on the 1600 gallon system, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I put out new content every week on the 1600 gallon system. You're talking about equipment, DIY videos, or every other aspect to running a system like this. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, my wife's going to be so embarrassed.